In this video, we are going to start the header session. Inside your CSS, create a new file. Call it home.css. Go to your master.css over here at import URL, then this one will be home.css. Now go to the login page. Copy this one from here and paste it. Okay. Let's go back to our browser. Just refresh it. Now click here and inspect. The first thing that I want us to do is to style this one. The profile container. So copy this one from here. Go to your sources. So dot then paste it here. Let's decrease the weight to 24 pieces. Die to the same thing. Then we'll give it a border as radius to 50 percent. Then overflow within. Then position to be relative. Okay. Now the next thing that I want us to do is the image tag. The image tag, I want mass width to be hundred percent. And also realize that this one is a button. I want us to remove Border from the button, so over here will be button border be none. Okay, so this is what we have now. The next thing I want us to do if you over on the body element, realize that it's not taking the full height available, so this one will be. Before we do that, I want us to create a variable, CSS variable. So the first one will be Y, so that's that primary. It will be SHSL. So this one will be 0, 0%, 0, 100%. And the second one too is the gray color, so that's the secondary. That one too will be SA2. So Zero percent, ninety-eight percent, and also as that border, then we have zero, comma zero percent, and eighty-six percent. We have as that s dash that. So this one is for. 0%, 0%, then we have 15, percent and we have that, that test dash light, it is HSL, 0, 0%, zero percent, then 60%, percent and Now let's work on the body. We'll give it a background to be far as that secondary. And also we'll give it a height of main height. As a minimal height, so main height will be 100 VH. Then this one will display or flex less dash direction to be column and overflow dash y to be auto. Now the next thing I want us to work on 
is this one. Copy is from here. Over here, but then place it here. Give it a rate of 100%. Height of 44 pieces. And the color, the background color, I want it to be white. It will be that that primary. Primary. Yeah. And we'll give it display also of less. And just by as content the center. Then position we also face the top be zero left be also zero and z in this be two now I want to border at the bottom so as you can see why I want to border at the bottom over here so this is what we have so this one will be dash global header column column after so the content type will be empty and i'll set position to be absolute then button is zero then weight will be hundred percent Height be one ps then the background color will be bar that's that border okay that's it so now what i want us to work on is this one to create this kind of layout so this is it realize that we have items within it so we are going to use place for it make them see side by side copy this one from here then this one will be dot then place it here give it display of less then padding be zero up and bottom left and right is 20 ps then we'll give it a weight of 100 percent a mass dash weight we end seven five years then align dash items the center And justify as content the space between okay so now the next thing that i want us to work on is what first click here and click on toggle to bottom which is this one okay so now the next thing i want us to work on is this one so copy this class from here Go to your sources. Let's place it here. Give it a margin dash top to be five years. Now copy everything from here. Go to your home and place it here. So now we are going to work on this one. Click on this one and click press. So the first thing I want us to work on is the global search. Inside it, we have some items within it. We have the input element, we have the SPG icon. We are going to use flex for it. So we'll copy it. We'll copy this one, global search. Or so let's go to the sources. 
where it plays the ETA. Use on the dot global dash search, which is this one. So we'll give it display reflex. Then wait the two one six years. Height be the same. Twenty eight years. And align as items in the center and position to be relative. So now let's work on this one. We have not global search then SPG with a weight of 12 years. I to the same 12 years. Then position it to be absolute. We are positioning it relative to this one. Then give it a length of 8 years. Okay. Now, the next thing I want us to work on is the input element. So this one be dot global search dash search and input. We will give it a mass dash weight. We hundred percent. Then we'll give it also a height of hundred percent. Then we'll give it padding of four PS, ten PS, four PS, then twenty eight PS. Then we'll give it a border the one PS solid bar dash dash border. And the outline will be none. Then the font size will be 12 years. And the font weight, I want the font weight to be 400. We have color river dash that test dash light. Then the next thing I want us to do is overflow to be hidden and wait. With two six five years height be thirty six years then background be RGB two three nine comma two three nine comma two three nine then semicolon then we have other Dash radius we eight years. Then white dash space to be no wrap. Then S dash overflow to be ellipsis. So now copy everything from here. Replace this one with the copy press. So this one over here. This one with semicolon. Okay. Now let's refresh it and see. But I think it's okay. 
but I want us to increase the height a little bit. So this one. Which is this one? So let's make the height. Okay. I think 55 is okay. So copy this one from I'll go to the home and copy everything from here. Now we are going to work on this one. Click here and inspect this element. You realize that the element is inside this one. So copy this one from here. Go to your sources. Just scroll down. Over here, dot the opacity. Remove this one from here. So I want this element to stay side by side, so I use display reflex and align items. Items we center. Then I want gap, so it will be gap. I want the gap to be 16 ps. Okay. I think it's okay. I can live with it. So now the next thing I want us to work on is this one. So click here and inspect. Okay. So over here, what I want, click here. I want the outline to be none. No, so the border dash radius to be fifty percent. Then the cursor over here, I want it to be pointer, but we have some utility class. So copy everything from here. Replace this one with the copy test. And over here to unfocus, I want the color to be dark which is this one when you focus on the input element so why let's do it here this one we dot global the search and input colon focus why it will be color then this one we var that's that's test that's that the semicolon and go to your global dot header dot php then over here attach a class to it called Kesa dash pointer okay so now let's go back just refresh it now, as you can see over here, so our logic is working fine. 